we are here ahead. And in the same vein, you will be able to use global shortcuts whenever people start implementing them. Mm. And then I'll write an implementation in Hyperland because it's 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 not really a big deal. It's it's pretty easy. Didn't Hyperland already have some sort of thing beforehand, or am I thinking of something else? It's, yes, but when apps start supporting the global shortcuts portal, they probably will stop supporting the legacy method. What? How um, did the legacy method the, actually work? The legacy method works basically like X11. It just kind of listens for the key presses that you do. Right. And whenever it matches, it matches. Okay. okay but thanks. on Wayland, since when a window is unfocused, it doesn't get any events. It, it doesn't get any events. Um, and the portal, it's the reason why it can't really do both at the same time, or at least why it would be really, really weird for it to do so. Mm is due to how the protocol, the portal actually works. It's really weird for someone that doesn't really do computers, but it mm -hmm. makes sense in the standpoint of security because Wayland, everything is security. Yeah. And um, because an app, whenever it wants global short, uh, shortcuts to be on the app, it, whenever it opens, it will send through DBus to your XDG desktop portal a list of shortcuts that you can use in the app. So, for example, OBS will send, I don't know, play, pause, record, yep. stream, stuff like that. And then uh, the, the portal will pass them on to the compositor, and the compositor is tasked with handling how to bind them. Mm -hmm. So the protocol, the app, does never knows what the keys are bound to. So the only events that it receives is this key got just pressed, this yeah. key got released. That's basically why on KDE that has implemented this, the shortcuts for apps that use those global shortcuts are in the KDE settings, and right. not in the apps. Because the app cannot know what the shortcut is bound, it cannot bind it to anything, it just knows whenever, whenever it gets pressed and whenever it gets released. That's it. Mm -hmm. Which, from a standpoint of security, of course, the app can't snoop on your keys, but from a standpoint of typical Windows user, it probably is unintuitive because a typical Windows user goes into OBS and has in OBS a list of keys that he can just assign to stuff. Meanwhile, yeah. here, it's just, it's just going to be like probably like you go to this hotkeys and it's like probably hotkeys are managed by your operating system and then click here and then it opens mm, KDE okay. settings or whatever. Because I think there is also a method to open settings. Mm -hmm. So it can just ask the compositor to open settings and it opens the keybind key settings. Yeah. So yeah, implementation of this, really simple. It will take me like probably like four hours or something to do. So like a day or two. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's no big deal. But it, I currently have better things to work on than shortcuts that won't be really used for a while. Yeah. And I won't have a great test client because the only test client is the KDE test client, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. It only makes one shortcut, and it's not actually a real-world example. <laughs> I like yep. testing things with real-world stuff, with like act, because it's kind of like with driving. Mm -hmm. I don't have a driver's license, but people that 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 got a driver's license, my friends, mm -hmm. tell me that after you you actually do your driving license exam and like all the classes and all the practical stuff, you start noticing how. Absolutely dumb and absolutely yeah. batshit insane things people can do on the road. And yep. that's the same case with applications. People can do absolutely the weirdest things with their applications. Mm -hmm. that, no, that like, definitely, definitely makes sense, yeah. Remember how I told you about subsurfaces, right? That apps can open a subsurface, like yes, a yes. menu or something. All browsers, for whatever reason, leave their primary window surface completely transparent mm -hmm. and draw everything on a full window subsurface. Why? What? Yeah, why? <laughs> That's a good question. It messes with my animation system. I still haven't fixed that. It's like a nine-month-old bug that it kind of resize independently. I don't know why they do that. No clue, but they do. Oh. Is this it, both it, on the Chromium and the yes. Firefox side? Yes, Firefox and oh, Chromium. Okay, both. sure. I, I could have understood if it was just one or the other, but there's 
There has to be a reason if they both do it then. Surely. There has to be a reason. I, I, I still don't know what the reason is though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really weird. That's and yeah, subsurfaces are just one cause of, of my misery.